Working with oyster catchers um, was a new experience for me. And I actually found it incredibly helpful having uh, an agency who has such amazing relationships with all the advertising and design agencies we worked with. So walking into a room as a client, it felt like the agencies were already warmed up. Um, they were they had been um, told a bit about us as a client. They really understood the brief even before we entered into the room and formally briefed them, um, all of which I think allowed us to get off to a faster start. Um, the the support given by Oyster Catchers was also hugely valuable, both before the appointments we had with the agencies and all the way through the process, actually. So this was a very innovative pitch process. I've never handled anything in this way. And I think it was Oyster Catchers' idea to manage it in, uh, in such a, uh, a unique way where we would combine communications agencies working with design agencies um, to see how we could get the best out of both of them. Um, the reasons why the pitch worked so well, I think, is that we were able to view the chemistry that the agencies would have with one another because this is reflective of how it would be ongoing. Um, seeing how they could collaborate and get the best out of each other um, and put that back into the work that they were developing. Um, the pitch was quite interesting because it also allowed us to view multiple agencies within the same time frame. So we got to see three design agencies working in partnership each with one other um, communications agency. So we had three teams of two agencies, all working to the same brief, all with the same amount of time to deliver. Um, so for me as a client, what was really interesting was seeing how far each pair could get with exactly the same information and taking the work in such different directions. Um, so very, very interesting to explore um, different levels of capability, creativity, account management, um, and, you know, definitely a, a real learning experience for me as well. So having Oyster Catchers manage the meetings um, and set them up took a lot of the administrative effort out for us, um, which is really helpful when you're trying to um, appoint agencies and go through that process. It's really time consuming. There's a lot to think about. And just having that whole piece of it taken away and dealt with was a fantastic help. Um, but also being able to discuss the meetings after they happened with a third party who hasn't got a vested interest in, in the outcome, really, who's completely independent, was really great. Great sounding board, um, really helpful to just talk things through, um, to be clear on how we felt about um, the work that was being developed. James Rennie's support um, on the procurement side of the um, negotiations was hugely valuable. He's got a massive amount of experience uh, managing the financial aspects and the fee negotiations with agencies. Um, so again, that was a, another big chunk of the um, appointment process that was supported and, and um supported by oyster catchers and that was hugely valuable for us it allowed us to compare apples with apples so having a framework which James pulled together for us allowed us to compare each agency according to the same criteria and make sure that we were really getting the best value for us as a client it's quite a difficult question to answer around whether oyster catchers did anything unexpected I've never really worked with a um, intermediary like oyster catchers before I suppose I suppose the best way to look at it is whether I would use Oyster Catchers again. And I think the value that was added um, was really huge. And it took a lot of pressure off me in terms of um, pulling the short list of agencies together, ensuring they were the right ones, um, the support that Ideal Standard received throughout the process. You know, they were all really invaluable. Um, so, yes, I would definitely use Oyster Catchers again, I think.